Hi, Miss EJ's kids. Um, today was our last day of school, and I came home and I napped really long, and then I was like, I need to read them something because they don't have any books at home right now, from my library at least, or from our library. And I don't know if they got to the library because they might have been as tired as me and napped for three hours. So that's a possibility. So I want to read this to you today, but we had absolutely no time. This is The Book With No Pictures by B.J. Novak, and I really hope you enjoy it. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except here's how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say no matter what. That's the deal, that's the rule. So that means even if the words say blork, wait, what, that doesn't mean anything. Blarf, wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And if I have to say every word the book says, uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I'm reading this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true, I'm not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? My head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? I guess I, I, guess I can't stop reading. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song song do i really have to sing a song glug 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 my face is a bug i eat ants for breakfast right off the rug what this book is ridiculous can i stop reading yet no there are more pages i have to read the rest my only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named boo boo butt boo boo butt uh, and also the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this book, this kid chose this book, even though it has no pictures. Because kids know that this book, this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And make silly sounds, like, oh, no. Oh, no. Here it comes. Glurgawacko ma grumpaloo. Ay, 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 broad, 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 um, um, blaggedy, blaggedy, glibbity, globbity, globbity, glibbity, beep, whoop, ee, badong, ye face. Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly act is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Miss EJ's kids, I hope you have a really wonderful summer. I hope you do go to the library. I hope you get to read a lot. I hope you practice your math facts. I hope you practice being friends to each other. I hope you practice helping out at home. And I hope you are very successful, very wonderful fifth graders next year. Thank you, CJ's kids.